Hello and welcome to the Moth's Labyrinth. In this file, you're going to explore an underground system that draws you in much like a moth to flame. And as you explore it more and more, you find bits and pieces of your mind just melt away into pure calm bliss. You also find yourself becoming a moth mentally in this file too. Now, this is something you want. You can continue listening, and if it's not, you should turn on this file right now. Make sure you're nice and comfy. Make sure you're ready to take in these visuals. Make sure there's going to be no distractions, and you'll have a lot of time after this file to wake up and get back to your normal self. Now that you're completely ready, we'll begin. You find yourself somewhere, some place that you know you came here for a purpose. There seems to be an entrance in front of you. You know you want to go there. You feel it drawing to you. It's been drawing you in the whole time. Your mind just fixed on this one idea of just following and going in. And you walk closer and closer to the labyrinth, the entrance to it. You could feel it in your body that you just want to go there. You're not quite sure why or how, but you know that you need to enter it. And so you walk forward in this world of empty nothingness. And you slowly enter it, the labyrinth. And you walk further and further down the stairs, deep into the ground, and a large hallway opens up in front of you. All around you are lights on each wall, and you find yourself drawn to each one as you move further and further in. Each light in front of your eyes sparkles, and it draws you further to that one and the one after that, and you keep following them down this hallway of dirt, this little path deep underground. You're not quite sure where you're going, but you know you have to keep going forward for the lights that sparkle in front of your eyes on both sides of the cave. This little hallway, this deep underground cavern, just pulling you forward. You walk deeper and deeper, just staring at the lights in front of you and taking them in. Each one, each one that passes by your eyes seems to make you calmer and calmer. You find yourself slowly losing bits of stress. Your inhibition slowly just fades away and is just focused on the lights in front of you. And you just stare and walk further and further and further in. And your mind just drift deeper and deeper into this maze. You find yourself just drifting as you walk further and further and further inside. So you just watch the lights pass you, each one sparkling in front of your eyes, taking away a bit, any bit of idea of why you're here. You find that you don't care anymore and you just want to follow the glow that sparkles in front of your eyes, taking you further down. And slowly you find the whole way, slowly but surely, opens up to a little tiny connection area with a statue in the middle of it of a moth and slowly your mind starts putting the ideas together that the moth's labyrinth is designed to make you feel like the small insect following just instinct and being drawn to the light further and further down into this hallway into these little catacombs as you just stare at the light and walk further in and suddenly you know if there's vines all over the hallway and the lights the lights draw you even more further in you feel like you wanna slowly become much like the statue show of moth flitting around inside this cave and going further and further and my mind is just fluffy much like a moth 
flitting and flying around inside your empty head. It's fluttering in emptiness. It seems to drive you further into this labyrinth, further and further down, deeper and deeper inside as the lights pass across. As everything just sparkles around you, the lights pass. You start realizing that there's nothing to realize anymore, that your mind is just melting deeper and deeper with each footstep forward. As the vines around you seem to envelop you in this nice odor of all this floral smell, you find yourself at the next connection route, and there again is the moth statue, the flame on top of it. It seems to speak to you, and you seem to be happy to notice it. There's more vines than before now, and you walk further in, still drawn to the lights on the side of it, your mind just fluttering and fluttering, much like a moth, as you walk further and further and further in, as your mind just drifts deeper, deeper, and deeper, as your mind just drifts and floats like a moth to each light, connecting each light to the next light and the next light, till you find yourself in the next connection point. And now, now it's all even more foggy, as this floral mist just fills up your mind and empties it, and you can't really think, or really do much than just follow the smell and the lights that your mind has become. Almost entirely like a moth now, fluttering and fluttering through the catacombs. As flowers and vines fill up your mind as you find yourself sinking deeper and deeper down. Drifty and driftier, sleepier and sleepier as the vines around you pass by your eyes and it almost seems like a dream that you're just going forward, drawn to the lights and passing each light, looking for another light in front of you and another light and another light and another light, till you find your mind is just fixed on just one idea and that's the lights in front of you, guiding you deeper and deeper into the catacombs, completely entranced by the idea, completely engaged in the idea that you're just a moth fluttering around. You're completely weightless, mindless, and relaxed, fluttering to each light, and walking further and further down as the whole world around you envelops you in this nice, relaxed feeling of goodness, of warmth and peace, of calmness, this ever lingering sensation of pure bliss as everything just spins around your mind fluttering and flickering, bringing you even deeper now and driftier, mindless, moth-like, stuck on instinct, drawn to light, just guiding you deeper and deeper. And now, now that you're so deep in the labyrinth, it suddenly opens up, and a bright light fills you. And you look around and you find yourself in a beautiful room. And at the very end of the room, it's the creature that brought you here, a beautiful moth. She stands there and welcomes you in, knowing that it was her who brought you here the whole time. Then you realize, then coming here, and then looking for her, and her drawing you in here, you slowly left your human form, and mentally come a moth. Light, floaty, drifty, not a single thought in your mind as a moth beckons you forward and talks to you, telling you that you did so good to be a moth and drift and dream and float in this little world that she created, these catacombs of lights, that each light that you stared at, each light you saw passing by you, dropped you so deep, so peaceful and empty. You slowly forget that there is anything else but the mindset of a moth, floaty, light, 
and drifty. She congratulates you and makes sure to pet the top of your head and tell you you did well. You did well, little Mothling. And it's time now. Time to let you sleep. Just close your eyes and just sleep. And slowly let the moth mindset take over as you rest in her arms. She tells you just to be calm, be peaceful, and that you're a happy moth right now. Happy and mindless and empty. Completely weightless and light. Drifty, floaty, and mindless. Your brain just focuses on the light, the sparkle, the glow all around you. Just telling you to melt and drift and dream deeper and deeper. Driftier and driftier. That you did so well to take in this mindset of a moth. But now, now that you've reached the state of pure calmness, being one with the idea of a moth, it's time. It's time to slowly come back up now. I'll make sure to count from one to ten, and when I reach ten, you'll be wide awake, out of this moth mindset, and be nice and peaceful, and be able to go on your day nice and refreshed. Now, let me count you up. One, slowly coming up now. Two, becoming more aware of the world around you. Three, slowly coming back up now, becoming aware of your body. Four, slowly realizing that you're coming out of this moth state. Five, only halfway there now. Six, becoming aware of your arms and legs. Seven, stretching your body. Eight, almost there now. Nine, almost awake. And ten, wide awake now and back. I hope you enjoyed being in the moth mindset. And I hope to see you again in the moth's labyrinth.